So hi and welcome to this video where I'll basically be showing you how I sort of clean and maintain my vehicle's interior. So I like to keep it looking pretty clean and quite new. So this is sort of the process I do, I used to do this. So I have had this car for around two years now, I've driven over 20,000 miles in it, but generally I think the, the sort of condition of the interior does look quite new, but obviously I am driving around 300 miles a week. So it does tend to pick up a little bit dirt as you can kind of see on these photos. So this is sort of the process I'm going to take you through what I do every one to two weeks to keep the vehicle looking quite new. So obviously the first thing to do is to remove anything that you can do. So in this case, it's just the mats. So it's easier to sort of clean them and clean the areas of the car that obviously the mats are blocking. So the first thing that you need to do when cleaning your vehicle's interior is to just give it a hoover. Obviously, if you clean it quite often, then this isn't a huge job. Normally, it'll take me sort of just a couple of minutes, really, to hoover down the seats, make sure you're getting into all the stitching, and then also to hoover the carpets as well to make sure those are clean. If I am in a rush, then definitely hoovering is the part that I won't skip. Obviously, driving in it for several hundred miles a week, you can sort of just pick up sort of light dirt, particularly on the carpets and the mats that just really needs removing. And then removing this off, particularly the leather seats, stops kind of any friction that might eventually lead to sort of cracking over time and, and cause the, the leather to wear down. So definitely the most important step if you're just going to do one thing to maintain your vehicle's interior week, then just hoovering it is probably going to get 90% of the results. Then after that, I just really lightly clean it using a damp microfiber towel. I find that this picks up kind of all the dust um, that's left around the interior. And it's really enough if you just do this in the hoover and then the interior is going to look pretty new already as long as you do this regularly. So again, I do this once a week and just give everything a quick wipe down. Using a damp microfiber towel is usually what I found most effective rather than a dry one. As it tends to pick up more of the dust and a little bit of dirt if there is any. So definitely just use a clean, damp microfiber towel to get rid of the most of this. If you are, are dealing with a little bit more dirt, then you can use a mild all-purpose cleaner. Sometimes I will do this. I'll use Built Hamber's Surfex HD, just at a very low concentration, usually around 1% to 2%. But in this case, I'm just using a damp microfiber towel. I find that the particular areas where you might want to pay more attention to, so particularly like the gear stick, the steering wheel and the seats, something you want to use to kind of wipe down the microfiber, any areas that basically touch in on the car are going to need more attention. And then also sort of every couple of weeks, I'll again go in with a brush and basically just dust out all the air vents. It's one of the things that a lot of people tend to forget to do and it probably seems a little bit extreme sometimes, but if you really do want to keep the car looking new, then stopping this dust build up in these areas is really important. It's kind of, even if the vehicle's relatively clean, having all this dust is sort of what makes it look a bit more tired and older. So just really kind of spending a, just a few minutes really to dust out the air vents, sort of the controls, the climate co controls, and also tends to be like the media controls, tends to where a little bit of dust will gather. I find that using a paintbrush is actually really good for this, but of course you can use sort of an actual detailing brush to do this. Basically the main thing to consider is to actually keep using a brush that's very soft as obviously it can cause a little bit of damage to the interior, particularly if you have kind of any piano black trim where it's that really shiny plastic that is scratched incredibly easily. So even sort of microfiber sometimes will scratch that. So if you're using kind of stiff nylon brushes, then you can potentially cause some damage. So just be careful there what kind of brushes you're using. And then the final step really here is just to sort of wipe down the infotainment screen, just using um, a clean dry microfiber towel to do this is usually quite adequate. Then sort of periodically I will clean the pedals and basically there is kind of a little bit of dirt build up here and you don't have to do this too often but if you really want to kind of keep the interior looking very new then this is one of the, the steps you probably shouldn't miss out. So I find that really just spraying it with an all purpose cleaner so in this case I'm using Built Hamber Surfex HD and then basically just working into the surface using a toothbrush or a detailing brush if you have one but I find that toothbrush actually works really well. And then I'll just give it a quick spray with water just to rinse that all down. Find that putting um, a microfiber towel underneath it is really good to kind of 
stop any sort of drips going onto the carpet you don't really want to drench the carpet in all this kind of woolly water so make sure you've got a microfiber towel to sort of wipe all of this up and to stop it touching the carpet then I'll just go ahead and use a dry microfiber towel just to kind of clean away any excess and make sure they're dry then every sort of month or so I will deep clean the leather using just a mild leather cleaner so my preferred choice is Colour Locks Mild Leather Cleaner. I find that it actually is quite strong and um, they do have a strong variety of the cleaner but the mild the mild variation is actually really quite good and you know there'll be rarely a situation where the mild cleaner won't actually tackle what you're trying to deal with. Generally I kind of keep the seats quite clean with using that damp microfiber towel to wipe them down every week but just to stop any build up kind of oil and just to keep them quite clean I will go ahead and just apply this mild surface cleaner and um, just sort of every every month or so using a microfiber towel I find that it's a really good cleaner to use because basically it's foaming so you don't risk, run the risk of using a spray that's kind of going to drench the leather and sort of a lot of water isn't really what you want but a foaming leather cleaner is actually really helpful and that's that's what this offers so we'll go ahead and actually use that on the leather steering wheel as well. I find that it really helps lift off any kind of oils, um, particularly in areas where you know, you're often sort of touching the buttons or holding the steering wheel. It's going to be really helpful because you don't want to kind of get that shiny look to the steering wheel. You want to keep it quite matte if you want to keep it new. And obviously if you've got a lot of buildup of oil, then that's when you kind of get this shiny look. So just going over the steering wheel every sort of couple of weeks with this leather cleaner, I find it's more than enough to keep it quite clean. I've said although it is a leather cleaner I will just give the buttons a quick little wipe and um, just because these are sort of the buttons I use to control the sort of the volume of my songs and also like cruise control and stuff like that so generally just giving those a quick wipe can help with any oil that might build up on those you can use a separate all-purpose cleaner for this but just while I'm here it's kind of easier to just use that leather cleaner then once I've done actually sort of deep cleaning all, this, all the leather and surfaces, I'll just go ahead and wipe everything down just with a damp microfiber towel again, just to kind of remove any excess product that might still be on there. Then the next step is to go in and actually protect the surfaces. So I use two products for this and the first is to protect the plastic. So I use G-Technique's matte dashboard spray basically and all I do is just apply it onto a microfiber applicator and then just work it in. I find that it's really good to help protect the surfaces and keep them looking quite new but it doesn't offer that sort of shiny effect which I don't really like. I like to keep the matte but the matte um, dash quite matte and keep that sort of natural look. Then I will go ahead and protect the leather every two to three months using a product called Gion Leather Coat. And that's basically a leather sealant. As the leather is quite new, it does have a top coat on it. So that hasn't worn away yet. Perhaps in a few years, I'll need to apply a conditioner as well. But at the moment, the sealant's all you really need. So that's what's basically just going to keep the leather quite sort of smooth. And also, it kind of reduces the friction on the leather so that you're less likely to get sort of cracks and really wear the leather down. It keeps it looking quite new. It also protects that top coat underneath. It also protects from things like UV dye transfer and sort of any oils and things like that and if you do have any spills on the leather then this will definitely protect it and it leaves that kind of hydrophobic coating. Then one of the last steps really I do is just clean down the mats. So these are fabric mats so I find that just giving them a quick hoover to start with will just get rid of most of the dirt on there. Then I go ahead and apply sort of a foam upholstery spray and basically that works really well sort of on, on any kind of fabric and I'll just work that in using a brush so I'm actually using Colour Lock's leather brush here but I find that it works really well on carpet as well just to give it a kind of really work that cleaner into the fibres just give them a good scrub and make sure they're kind of restored to that black look Then I go ahead and basically go in opposite line motion to basically kind of leave those lines, that sort of pattern on the carpet. You obviously don't have to do this but I find that it looks quite nice and gives that interior kind of a more finished look. Then the final step really in terms of cleaning is to just go ahead and clean the interior glass. 
So I'm just using a standard glass cleaner to do this. Um, one that doesn't have any vinegar because that can basically sometimes cause damage to the window tints. So just a basically quite a gentle glass cleaner will be fine with. And I just work that in. Um, I use obviously a waffle weave microfiber towel to do this and I find that that's a lot more effective than using a plush microfiber towel. So you can tend not to get any of the kind of fibres sticking to the glass with waffle weave. Whereas if you're using a really soft plush microfiber towel, although they can tend to be quite good at cleaning, they actually leave all the fibres on the surface so when it kind of hits the sun you can really see that. Then after that basically just going to give everything a quick wipe down and that includes the door shuts. Then for the very final touch I'll just basically put in um, an air freshener. So this is an Articlands one and it's got a mint scent so it smells quite nice and fresh. So here you can kind of see some of the after shots and I've kind of really help, hope this sort of demonstrates how I kind of keep the interior looking quite new despite the fact that I drive it a lot. You know, it's really quite easy and it's only going to take sort of five to ten minutes every time you do it every week and then maybe a little bit longer, half an hour maybe every couple of months just to keep it looking brand new and to keep the surfaces protected. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. If you have enjoyed then be sure to give it a like. Comment down below if you've got any questions and subscribe for weekly detailing videos including vehicle transformations, how-to guides and product reviews.